What is going on guys? It's your boy Reality Spin. We are back here with another Genshin video. Uh, we're going to be continuing the Klee quest uh, as soon as I get back on the game. Um, the Secret Summer Paradise. Uh, we're going to do the second part of it. I'll go ahead and jump right into it. <clears throat> I believe. Yeah, it's right over here. So, let's go ahead and get into it. See what we got with Idea. Idea? Idea? I think it's Idea. Um, looks like we got Eula and Kale here. Probably gonna explore more of the area. So, see what we got. Hey, Kale and Eula. Oh, Adia is here too. Adia. It is Adia. Okay. Hey, it's the traveler in Paimon. <clears throat> How are you? Did you rest well? Yep. This is a comfortable place to rest. I guess that's one thing here that's better than the desert. But other than that, there's not much going for this place. Saying things like that isn't. But it's the truth. The desert is full of- That's a weird way to put it. Hmm, I know what you mean. The air here isn't at all like the desert. It's very humid. Almost as if we're in the rainforest. <sighs> everyone looks well rested. If you're- Good luck, everyone! I'll be rooting for you. Hold on. I said we, didn't I? Huh? But wait, uh, I'm- I'm just the mascot! You can't back out this time, Adia. The manager of the fairgrounds is waiting to see you. She's- Yes. Kale and I discovered a fairgrounds in the forest. The person in charge of it seems to be a Spotamod scholar. A scholar? <clears throat> What's she doing there? Re oh, I wish there were ley lines here that I could ever study. And Layla, maybe? Where are we going? This way. Do I have anything over there? Nope. What is activating this to? Let's do it. Ah, oh, shit! It's totally taking me away. Oh, it's just taking me around here. Never mind. Uh, I shouldn't be getting distracted. Let's do the quest. I can't help it. Oh my eyes. Cool. I'll take more tickets. Thanks. Or vouchers, I should say. Away we go. Sorry if I'm a little sniffly this time around, guys. Uh, dealing with a little bit of a fever and congestion, and it hasn't been a fun time. But recording these videos is nice and relaxing, so I figure I take advantage of some downtime and get these done. I gotta get this quest done uh, sooner rather than later with Fontaine coming up and the uh, end of this quest, so. <clears throat> uh, I could do this. Why the hell not? Oh my god, what was that? What? Hello? Ah, crap. Oh, never mind. We're good. Oh, Lord. That's three. Hello, bird. Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. Eh. Oh, for... F there we go. Lord. Anyways. Forward we go. What the hell is this? Gleaming lamps. Brilliant mirror. I don't have that yet. Never mind. I have been to fuck up these sun trails. Nice. Take it and have fun. Sir? <clears throat> okay. Nah, that's funny. Anyways, let's activate this waypoint. 
Real quick. Okay. Oh, nice. Thank you. Maybe a growth serum? Into a different colored. I can't do that yet, can I? Wait. Pick this up. Oh. Wait. What? Oh. No. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So, install here. Oh, for fuck. So, do I just need to, like, come around? Do that? Aha! Okay. Makes sense. That's bright. Jesus. I thought this was going to be Layla, but I guess not. Sorry to keep you waiting, Minuna. Thank you, Kale. If anything, I thought you'd be curled up some- Hey. You shouldn't be saying things like that. <sighs> Doesn't seem to be the first time Paimon's heard someone say that about Adia, though. You wanna see me cry? Fine! I'll stop crying right here! Uh, no, please don't! Alright, alright, I shouldn't have said that. Now, who are these two? Oh my god, no way. Of course. Good to meet you. You may call me Maymuna. For the sake of time, we should forego the usual. Good lord, this area is huge and it's gonna take forever to explore this. Good god. Let me see. Pavilion. I still have what? This area. I don't. Hmm. Oh, it's just one more area? Alright, never mind. It's not terrible. Still pretty big, though. Not quite Golden Apple Archipelago size. Wow! Look at that huge tent! Amazing, isn't it? I. Really? <gasps> uh, huh? What? what is it, Kale? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm afraid it might dampen the. <sighs> That's not important. Uh, well. There are lots of things. The truth is, this used to be an exciting and bustling place. But just a few days ago. Like, the what? Yes, exactly. Something fell from the central hub into the tent and knocked down the crystal light that was hanging at the top. Oh, the crystal light. Mm hmm. I remember a certain someone said that we should have beautiful lights to celebrate out of. But once the light fell, the tent became a complete mess. And the just when I was at my wit's end, a man from the Lorne. Wait. He offered to help. Yes, and he refused to listen to any of my war. Yes? Yeah, don't leave it. And that's it. He oh no, oh. we have to do something. I know, but the situation inside might be more difficult. <laughs> Just talking about it is a waste of time. <sighs> All right, this way, please. Right. There used to be a large stage inside, but after everything got shaken up, it seems the very nature of the entire place was all The lamps and crystal light that were hanging above have all fallen down. Wait, so you mean- Yes, mainly because of the light. Do any of you have experience being on stage? Uh, I can't stand that feeling. Me too! I'm no good at speaking in front of people. And then to have everyone- Sounds like you have some things you haven't been able to let- <sighs> Please don't laugh. I'm trying my best to change that, but... No, there's nothing funny about that. That's my opinion anyway. Think about it. Only people who have high standards for themselves would worry about fa- You have many good qualities, Kale. I bet if you had to learn dance since childhood like myself, that- No, no way! I can relate. I know ex- Maybe we should find a time for you to learn with me. And one day, you will become an outstanding dancer, too. Ah, uh, yes. Dance time, lessons with you'll Eula. You'll be so focused on performing your beautiful moves <clears> that you know... Wow. Eula's so passionate. Really? You do that? You... <clears throat> you really think I'm that kind of person? Fine. Vengeance will be... Oh, no! Oh. Seems there's no... You haven't heard her say that in a while. 
anyway, you just need to open the curtain and you'll be able to see. Okay, let's do it. Nice. There we go. Wait. Wait. Oh my God. The middle there. That's my crystal light. <laughs> it's been locked up. Well, let's figure out a way to fix this. Looks like we need to raise the platform underneath the crystal light. If I remember correctly, the stage controls should be somewhere around here. We have to use the colorful lens to make the light change colors. Okay. <clears throat> I don't have anything to install. Yeah. Alright, so I need an orange one. Oh, there it is. Shut up! What are these numbers? You. 85 and oh. Wait, where's, what the hell? No bless? You're joking. Yeah, crush. Ah, uh, yes, two characters whose elements don't do shit else with each other. Rack and ruin. So let's install this. That's one way of shining new light on the problem. Hey, Maymuna, do you happen to know someone named Sino? No, never heard that name before. Why do you ask? Oh, never mind <laughs> then. I was just thinking you two would have a lot in common. That's pretty funny. <clears throat> Back to the situation at hand. We should probably head into the passageway that opened. Hello? <laughs> Is anyone here? If you can hear me, please help! Lessig Lawrence? Who are you? Who ha- Uh, you sh Yep. He's a member of the Lawrence clan, all right. You. What? Huh. Have you come here to mock me, Eula? If you would just think for a moment, it should be pretty obvious why we are here. Yet, now you're intentionally trying to pro Of course, you don't have to accept my help. After all, aristocrats are naturally superior- Yes, thanks for the reminder. I don't think he really means it, Eula. His tone was harsh, but he keeps glancing at you from the corner of his eye. Okay. <laughs> He's been trapped for so long that it seems he's forgotten how to hold a decent conversation. <laughs> how ridiculous. Let's go. Hey, no, no, wait. Uh, halt! You helping me when necessary certainly won't tarnish your prestige. If anything, my embarrassing predicament will be overshadowed by your virtuous deed. <sighs> this is the best reason you could come up with? You think tacking on the word family will be enough to talk me and you should be ashamed for your careless actions. Ooh, pointing. It's because of you that we all had to come here. Uh, uh, it seems everyone in the Lawrence clan is this way. They'll do it. All right, all right. Looks like it's time for the mascot to step in. Here you go. One for Eula and one for Lessig. What is this? Candy? Uh, thanks. Oh, the smell. It's just like the aroma I smell coming. Yes, that's right. And oh, thank you, Miss Mask. Hmm. So he's willing to thank Eula has been worrying about you the past. But now that you two have been reunited, I won't have to keep answering her questions. Let me clarify one thing. I don't care what happens to him. Eula will never admit that she actually cares. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> if you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Uh, then at least give me another piece of candy. Hmm? Uh Sorry. I admit my mistake. <laughs> like I'm back. Oh. Oh, uh, nothing. All right. Then that was a pretty funny interaction. Here and keep working our way toward getting the crystal light fixed. Ah. I'll take him and find some place for him to rest. All right. I'll leave my cousin to you then. You'd better rest up and regain your strength before we settle things, Lessig. Cool. Moving quite along.
Now, let's see if there's any way to keep raising the platform higher. We probably will need to find a mechanism that's like a lamp. Okay. have been trapped in the curtain, but at least it seems to be okay. Oh, cool. A uh, puzzle. Um, let's go do this other one. Why did it cut off that dialogue? Boo! It is a magical tent after all. The inside is much larger than it appears from the outside. Haven't you heard stories with this sort of thing before? Oh, another path has appeared! This should be the last level! Yes, don't worry. We're almost to the top of the tent. The last thing we need to do is raise the crystal light to the very top of the tent. After the stage collapsed, I realized that having it raised only halfway makes it look a lot like the stage at the Grand Bazaar. No, I ha I have. I've got the place is bustling with all kinds of vendors. And if Oh, a dance from Sumeru? <laughs> I'd like to see that. It doesn't matter if it's on the way or not. I would Great. I'll take you up on that offer. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. Now that Paimon Really? My father used to help with festivities at the oh, Grand yeah. Bazaar. We've been there for several the times events. due to Samsara related I reasons. Understand anything. I was happy as long as he gave me some candy. I always thought my father was amazing. But aren't you a scholar in the academia, Maimuna? I doubt you could have time. Yeah, seems you when I had the choice between becoming who I wanted to be and who my parents wanted me to be. Huh. That's almost the you must have already realized that. Why else would you set up? Yes, but I'm still not as happy as I imagined I would be. I realized that attending a fair and running a fair are two completely different things. The main reason my childhood was so fun and carefree is because my family worked hard. But my father knew how difficult and tiring running a fair could be, so he wanted to push me towards academics. <sighs> but in the end, I didn't do well in either. I gave up on myself and resorted to investigating ley lines in the desert. I finally had a chance to make my wish of running a fair come true. It's not as bad as you make it out to be, Maimuna. No need to feel so down. You have the courage to change. And you've been someone who's given up on themselves could never do these things. Oh, Kale. I understand my situation better than- It's not that I'm trying to comfort you. It- Believe me, this is something that I- Oh. What are you- Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. All right. The colored pieces of the bullet have melted. Ah, yes, the lens is made of materials that are easily melted by light. Is it me, or do I smell something sweet here?
this? I cannot. Uh, this is a horrible mistake. I didn't see that. Oh my god. Ugh. Good. That should do it. Oh, nice. Let's everything back up. Team like the Traveler, Paimon, Kale. Only 40 times more reliable. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's impossible to feel like you've lost once you've. Huh? What has happened? How did I get outside of the tent? Oh, that's right. Oh, you're awake now. I'm afraid I still. Less a glow. Oh, it's you, Eula. All right, all right, I'll do it. Interesting. Now you want to talk. Seems like you've had a change of heart. In that case, maybe you'll be able to ex- I, uh, I admit it. Yes, it was a long journey, and I didn't always know the way. <laughs> I passed through Liyue and Sumeru. But the peculiar thing is, I realized that nobody knew me out there. You and I are like glass ponds that were raised in shackles. Such pompous, hateful, and stubborn teaching it all culminates it's like a never-ending game of tug of war but it is meaningless hmm. everything he said is true your family is probably unaware that you've already changed how you see things yes this has all happened recently after coming to this domain i realized the monstat that i want is one where not everyone fears me 
All that I and many other members of the Lawrence clan long for. It's a place where we can live... Lessig, both you and I never had anything to do with the glory of the Lawrence clan. That is all in the past. <sighs> I originally planned on returning to Mondstadt after taking care of things here. I never thought you would come here. I was completely shocked. Which is why I reacted like I did. See? People can always make different choices. And it seems that Lessig has also chosen to become someone he... <clears throat> yes, about that. I'm afraid I haven't quite found my own purpose in life yet. That's all right. Being able to clearly choose between becoming who you want to be and who your parents wanted you to be, how to find true happiness is probably one of the most difficult research topics of all. I have a suggestion for you, Lessig. Why don't you return to Mondstadt and tell your parents what you just told us? <laughs> He'll probably try to tear me. This is something that I've been thinking about, too. The Lawrence clan is just like this stage. It was once home to glorious performance. She's so solid and tough, but also clear and open. Um, are you all done talking now? Yes, I think so. By the way, that is for you. Oh, it's one of the missing components. Well, you didn't ask. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Hmm? Wait, it looks pretty familiar. Have we seen one of these? Ah, right. I also bought a similar... Yes, people often use this kind of box for candy at festivals. But now that the tent has been repaired, eating the candy from the box as an adult will never be as delicious as it was when you were a kid. Ah, so when it comes down to it, eating candy is sort of like... Hmm. So, as of now, we've already collected three... I'm sorry that repairing the tent took so much... Nice. Back we go. Hey, Kokomi! You're already here! Oh, you're back. I trust your adventures to the forest went smoothly? Yep, you could say that. How about you? Well... I suppose it's time I told you that, that the truth is that a relic known as the Shinro Casket but recently, an orb matching the relic's description suddenly began emitting light, almost as if it was guiding people to it. I wasn't lying when I said that. Koro has often told me that sitting at home reading light novels is not the best of practices, and that I should try to get up as I made my way from Watatsumi Island to Sumeru. I enjoyed a variety of breathtaking sights. I was surprised to find that the relic had ended up in the desert. Though I feel that Idea was not intentionally trying to hide anything from us. Now that you mention it... Hmm... I see. I'm afraid that he was caught up in his thoughts and didn't pay attention to his surroundings. Hey everyone! Oh, huh. I hope we're not interrupting your conversation. It's all right. You two did a lot today. Care to join me for a cup of tea? Sure. <laughs> Turns out Idea has a cooking stove and oven. Oh! No. I made something called Storm... And I made some pita pockets. You could try some... Uh, sorry. I should call you General. Oh, I would be happy. By the way, you, uh... Oh, him. <laughs> you would never... Oh, nice! Part 2 completed! <clears throat> oh, attractions. I'll be doing that in my spare time. Alright, well, uh, we'll be doing part three another day. I did not expect this to go this quickly, but nice and tidy under 30 minutes. Well, about 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, uh, that is it for part two of the quest. Um, so far, so decent. <laughs> I won't give uh, any, any definitive praise until the end of the quest. Uh, I am hoping that there is some form of 
lead in to Fontaine with the end of the quest, considering this is the last patch before Fontaine. So fingers crossed there. Uh, as long as we get a nice little lead in, just like we got with the Golden Apple Archipelago and Sumeru, where Nahida talked to us for the first time and it was nice and it was lots of foreboding. So hopefully we get something like that towards the end of this quest, which will be saved for another day. Um, soon, obviously. I think there's only, what is it, like eight days left? Six days left. Oh, Lord. Uh, six days left, so definitely expect the last part of this to be uploaded within the next couple days or so. Um, who knows, I might record it right now, but it really depends on how I'm feeling and time-wise, because this congestion is driving me mad. But uh, anyways, guys, we'll go ahead and end off the video there. As always, thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the other videos that we have on the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.